All right, so for this one, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of the Valentine's quest line that was released earlier today. And I'm gonna walk you through how to complete every quest as well as the rewards you get from every quest. But before we go over the Valentine's quest, I did wanna quickly share a couple of tips that I came across while doing them. And the first tip I wanna go over is how you can earn firecracker tickets. Now this event is different from previous events because you can no longer earn tickets just by completing missions. The way you earn tickets for this event is by opting in to increase your difficulty because you're gonna be given firecracker tickets every time you complete a mission with increased difficulty, which leads me to my next tip, which is how you can opt in to increase your difficulty. So for those who don't know, there's a new blue glow pylon, which can be found after exploring the map. Once you fully explored the area, you wanna go ahead and pull up your map and you'll see this white skull icon on your map. And if you see that white skull, that means you can increase the difficulty for that mission. As of right now, I'm not sure if it's gonna be available for every type of mission, I did see this new blue glow pylon on destroy the encampment missions and I also saw it on a retreat the data mission but I haven't done every type of mission yet so I don't know if it's available for all missions but as you explore the area pull up your map and if you see this white skull that means you can opt in to increase your difficulty. You're going to need three blue glow in order to increase it once and you can increase it up to a total of five times. Each time it's used, the number of enemies increases and it also gives them a small bump to their health and damage output. I believe if you increase the difficulty five times in a level 70 mission, the enemy's power level increased to rank 87. And if you increase the difficulty five times in a level 82 zone, I believe that increases the husk power level to rank 101. Also, every time you increase the difficulty, you'll get more spring it on gold which can be used to purchase items from the event store. Increasing the difficulty at least once awards firecracker tickets. And one pro tip I wanted to point out is that you can put in the three blue glow at the very end of the mission and still get firecracker tickets. So with that being said, you could do five or six encampments in a destroy the encampments mission. And before the time runs out, you can pick up three blue glow, insert it into the new blue glow pylon, which is gonna increase your difficulty. And then when the timer runs out, you'll end up finishing the mission and you'll get firecracker tickets. Also notice that you don't earn as many firecracker tickets per mission as we used to in previous events but supposedly there's not a daily cap on the amount of tickets you can earn. So technically, if you have enough time, you could earn more tickets in this new event than you could in old ones because there's no cap, but you're also gonna have to put in more time because you don't earn as many tickets. You can earn somewhere around 40 firecracker tickets in Lower Stonewood and upwards of 94 firecracker tickets in Twine Peaks and you'll also be able to earn up to 2,000 firecracker tickets from the Love Storm quest because four out of the seven quests give 500 firecracker tickets. I should also point out that they might give firecracker tickets as a reward for a future event quest as well. And just like with previous events, another way you can earn firecracker tickets is by purchasing loot llamas. Now, some people did ask how you can get the Chinese New Year heroes as well as the dragon weapons you're gonna be able to get those from the Spring Llamas. They may also introduce them as rewards in future events. I'm not 100% sure yet, but as of right now, you can get them from the Spring Llamas because every Spring Llama will contain either a new hero or a new weapon. And the next tip I wanted to point out is in regards to the Universal Inventory. Starting on February the 19th, which is next Monday, we're gonna be able to craft, equip, and recycle items from our backpack screen, which is on the Armory tab, I believe. And not only will we be able to craft, equip, and recycle items, but there's also going to be a storage screen as well that's going to allow us to transfer items between our backpack and our storm shield storage. And again, that universal inventory is going to be available on February the 19th. And the last tip I wanted to point out is that I believe we're still going to be able to get the new ninja that has angel wings because there was a trailer on Fortnite's channel, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And then that trailer that shows some more gameplay of the new ninja that has angel wings. So as of right now, I'm assuming she's going to be a reward for a future event. As soon as I find out, I'll be sure to let you all know. And yeah, that about sums up all of the tips that I have for now. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the Valentine's event quest. 
And there's a total of seven quests that you're gonna have to complete in order to fully complete the Valentine's quest. And before we get into each quest, I did wanna point out that these were really simple. For most of these, all you have to do is just explore the zone and you're gonna see these yellow exclamation marks pop up on your map. And obviously all you have to do is walk up to those yellow exclamation marks. And that's how you complete most of the quest. There is one quest that doesn't actually give you exclamation marks, which I'll point out. And another thing I wanted to point out is that I was able to complete all of these quests, except for one, within just one mission. For the very last quest, I completed it within two missions. All right, so the first quest you're gonna have to do is called Love Letters Lost, and you're gonna get 500 firecracker tickets once you complete it. And for this one, all you have to do is loot five of these mailboxes that you see here. The second quest is called Keep Summer Safe, and the reward for this one is another 500 firecracker tickets. And this one's similar to Defending Survivors on the Rescue the Survivors mission. All you have to do is walk up to Summer and kill some of the husks that are trying to attack her. And she's not going to appear as a yellow exclamation mark. Instead, she's going to appear as a blue survivor with a blue exclamation mark. As for the third quest, this one's called Has It's Thorn. And the reward for this one is 100 V-Bucks. And all you have to do for this one is find seven flowers, which you can see here. The fourth quest is called Dentist to Society, and the reward for this one is another 500 firecracker tickets. And for this one, you're gonna have to defend Dennis the same way you defended Summer. You're gonna have to take out some husks that are trying to attack him. And I believe he's gonna appear as a blue survivor with a blue exclamation mark next to him on the map as well. The next quest after that is called In Your Ears, and the reward for this one is 500 firecracker tickets. And all you have to do for this one is listen to five boom boxes. The quest after that is called If You Can't Find Love, and the reward for this one is another 100 V-Bucks. And for this one, you're gonna have to find 10 chocolates. What I would recommend you do is go either to a city map or a suburb map, and then just loot all of the houses and apartments that you see on the map. Because in each house and apartment, you're gonna see some refrigerators and other items that contain chocolates. And you should be able to complete this quest within one or two missions. But I was able to complete it within just one mission by going to the suburb map. And the last Valentine's quest is called Bear Force One. And the reward for this one is the Love Ranger Jonesy Hero, which is a survivalist Jonesy reskin. And all you have to do for this one is launch nine teddy bear balloons. And this is the only quest that actually took me two missions to complete it. During the first mission, I was able to get five of the teddy bear balloons. And in the second mission, I was able to get four. And yeah, that sums up all of the tips, rewards, and quests that came with this Love Storm quest line. If there's any tips that I didn't mention that you think are useful, be sure to let us know in the comments below. I hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.